Hey, it's Lauren. So for today's video, I have a very distinctive look in mind. I'm not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna jump right in today. So I'm gonna use the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. What I like so much about this type of formula and this particular product in general is that I can very quickly correct my complexion, correct redness, really even out under my eyes, and I only need the one stick. <laughs> this has been a solid staple for me for years. It's easy to travel with, and you don't need multiple products to really correct your complexion. Huge, huge fan. It's one of those products that Yes, it's really expensive and it's kind of an investment all up front, but these last for a really long time. And I will also say I've purchased multiple of them. I just, I love it. I think it's such a great formula. I think if you are on the somewhat drier side, especially, you'll really love it. I tend to get a little more dewy, but I just set it with powder and I just absolutely love that formula so much. Um, so now for today, I'm going to use my Rare Beauty Soft Pinch in Happy and do just a little, little tiny, tiny dot because this stuff is uber concentrated. I always start small with this stuff because some days it grabs strong. <laughs> we can do a little more today. But yeah, I always exercise caution with this because it will turn your whole face pink. <laughs> All right, little rosy glow. Now I'm going to add on a little bit of Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I actually have it in an old sifter for a different product. Um, but the one that I have, it came in like a tub and it didn't have a sifter. And um, But they do sell them with a sifter. The, just the store that I went to some time back did not have it. I just love what this powder does to the skin. It just makes it look super airbrushed. Um, I know some people like to bake with this. I'm not a baking girl in makeup or in real life. <laughs> um, so I like this though because it just kind of brightens up your complexion and it sets your makeup really well. It just makes everything soft focus and it's not expensive. This particular powder was the one that I used for my wedding makeup and I got married on a boat in June in Texas and between this particular powder and the Ben Nye setting spray my makeup looked exactly the same at the end of the night as it did when I got on that boat, even though I had basically danced and swept my face off. I'm telling you, stage makeup, if you're looking for a really great long wear option, is where it's at. So now I'm going to dab my face because I'm so hot today. <laughs> I'm drinking hot coffee, but I, I also took a really hot bath last night and I just sweat a ton in the tub. And it kind of when I got out, I felt like I couldn't stop. And like, I think I just sweat through the night and I feel like I'm still just like hot today. <laughs> I don't know if that ever happens to anybody else, but that's what happened to me. Now I'm going to use the Westman Atelier Butter Bronzer. I like this one because it's not too heavy. It's not too dark. Um, it works well for my complexion. So I'm just gonna warm it up a little bit. If you ever need a good reference of where to put your bronzer, you can do more of a contouring type look, or if you want to look very naturally sun-kissed, you can go right through here and almost make like a W, because that's where the sun would hit you. And also the sun would normally hit kind of right here. And I always pull back that hairline so you can really get up in there. and. Naturally, it would kind of hit through here too. And my neck is so pale. I always avoid these lines in my neck because throughout the day, product will collect in them and then they look really, really dark. But sometimes I'll go a little bit below them because it'll just kind of bring the color all together on me. And I just noticed my little tiny friend there is peeking back through. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to take my Tom Ford again. I'm going to take a little detail concealer brush and just lightly dot and press. Okay, we're getting some good coverage. And then where it lands kind of around the blemish, I'm gonna move it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, knock off some of that excess product on my hand and really use this brush to pat the edges of the product so it's more seamless. And then I'm going to lightly powder over that spot again so it's not just like, you know, a radiant finish on that and then not on the blemish. Now here's the thing, you see I'm using quite a bit of powder. I really wanna set that spot so it's not gonna move. And I'm also going to pat and not wipe because I don't want to lift off any of that coverage that I just laid down. But that should be a bit better. Okay, let's move on to some eyes. So what I wanna do for this, I'm actually going to use a very inexpensive palette, the Bite Size Eyeshadow in Cream and Sugar from e.l.f. We're gonna play with this today. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I'm going to use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I think especially um, for this drugstore, like I think this shadow was like a dollar, maybe two. I think especially for this, because I don't want there to be any fallout, I think it's really important to prime your eyelids a little bit. I find that, especially with drugstore eyeshadow and some powders, like uh, like blushes and stuff, there tends to be a little more fallout and kickback, and a lot of times the pigments aren't quite as strong. Now, obviously also depends on the brand. Some are gonna be a little more pigmented. Like I think Maybelline and L'Oreal tend to have really pigmented shadows um, that you can get. And usually it's like the single pot shadows. But I've just found oftentimes like with this type of product, this type of powder, they kind of have more fallout and kickback. So I wanna prep and prime really well. Now what I'm gonna do, what do I wanna do? I'm going to take that shade, that kind of coppery, bronzy shade. And I'm gonna take a smaller eyeshadow brush using my um, my Coyudo, one of the smaller ones. And I'm going to put that on my lid. I'm gonna drag that slightly above my lid space. All right. Now that we have that on, I'm going to take this kind of lightest shade with a larger fluffy brush and I'm going to come in above where I put that uh, lid shade and just kind of lightly um, connect the two there. Now I'm going to take a smaller detailing brush and I'm going to use this darkest shade here. With this look, I'm doing a very um, intense eye look today. I'm gonna be using lots of black eyeliner. <laughs> All right, and now I'm going to follow that up with just a little bit on the bottom and keep it very close to my eyelashes. All right, now what I wanna do is blend out this darker shadow just a little bit. All right, now that we're left with kind of like the essence of that darker shape, what I want to do is put some of this really, really bright shimmery shade on my inner corners. This is a uh, Chikuhodo. The other brushes I've been using, I was using Coyudo and also Jones Road Beauty. That just adds such a nice brightness to the center of your eyes. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a very strong eyeliner look today. It's just kind of a mood I'm in, so we're gonna go with it. I'm using the Victoria Beckham 
black pencil. This is probably my favorite pencil. It is so dark, so creamy, easy to work with. So I'm going to apply this pretty liberally. Now, the thing to keep in mind, I have, when I relax my eyes, you don't see a lot of my lid space, right? So what I've kind of figured out is thinner lines usually work better for me, but if I want a more dramatic line, if I concentrate that on the outside, I can still see the inside of my lid space and it also kind of gives my eyes a more elongated shape, which I also really like. So I'm gonna concentrate more heavily on the outer edges. I'm also gonna be doing black under my eyes today because like I said, it's just kind of a mood. So <laughs> let's do this. Now that I have that on, I'm going to take a small MAC liner brush and drag that through there because this liner when you first put it on it's so creamy it's so easy to work with it's almost more like a gel eyeliner in a pencil form and I know I've said that before um I love this eyeliner so much it's a big thick fat liner today yep yeah. okay now I'm also like I said going to put this on the bottom and I really just kind of pushed it between my lashes and then now I'm going to take that little brush again and kind of smooth out that line and I can also use it to really work in between my lashes without necessarily being in the waterline also and you'll notice I didn't take it past like the halfway point and I'm really just going to use that brush to push it further between my lashes because I want that line to be a bit softer as it graduates inward. All right, let's do the other side. All right, so very strong liner look today. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of that powder that I used earlier and I'm going to make sure to set beneath my eyeliner this way it's not going to run or travel much. I don't mind a smoky lived in look, but I do like, I, I want this to be a bit stronger looking. So I'm gonna make sure to really kind of pack that powder right underneath where that eyeliner is. And you'll notice I'm kind of pinching my brush. You could also use a smaller brush, but for simplicity's sake, this is what I grabbed. <laughs> I'm gonna just use that excess powder where I tend to get more glowy. And now I'm just gonna gently sweep so we don't have any concentration of powder through there. Today, I'm gonna use my Gucci brow pencil. I really love this pencil. It has a very powdery kind of effect. Really just all around pretty lovely. And on top of that, I'm going to put a little bit of my Thrive Brow Gel. Mm. Apparently today, heavy-handed is the theme. <laughs> I really want to bring some extra rosiness to my cheeks. All right, that's a bit better. Sometimes when you do a really strong eye look, at least for me, I feel like the rest of my face can suddenly look very pale. <laughs> so I like to make sure that I have a good amount of a rosiness to my cheeks. And also just because I want a little bit of extra dewiness, I'm taking some Jones Road Beauty Miracle Balm in Dusty Rose, and I'm going to pat that around my cheeks to really make them look glowy. This product is really great for just bringing back a dewiness to your face. I, I almost use it like a highlighter. I also think if you had a really, really dry skin type, you might really love this. But it just makes your face look so fresh and radiant. It's really beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to put on some mascara. Hmm. I'm going to give this one another try. <laughs> I've had really weird makeup days with this mascara in particular. Some days it wears beautiful, other days it smudges on me. And that is the Dior Pump and Volume. 
notice the enthusiasm in my voice as I do this. <laughs> I'm really trying to give it a chance. I, you know, some Dior mascaras have been wonderful and others are awful on me. And this one I just really haven't made up my mind about. I love the way that it, like, I love the wand. I love the way that it goes on. But some days it just does not work for me. I'm hoping today is not one of those days because I actually really like what's happening with my makeup. So, such a beautiful looking mascara. I'm just hoping it stays where I want it. Okay, lashes done. Now I want a little bit of color to my lips and I really love a coordinated kind of cheek and lip color. It just always will make you look so polished, cohesive, put together. So I have a very um, similar kind of shade for my lips as I do for my cheeks. It's slightly deeper, but because it's more of a sheer formula, it's going to look very soft and um, tied together. And so I'm gonna use the shade Live Lip Serum from Fit Glow. This was actually the very first um, lip serum shade that I purchased. Little tidbit for you, and I still love it. It like, it's one of those colors that just like makes your whole face look kind of awake. I think another one of their colors that does that for me is Juice. Um, uh, if you're looking for more of like a red kind of punch color, that's like such a beautiful one. This one I really love. They also released a shade called Pop. It was part of Sarah Landry or the Bird's Papaya, her collection. But Pop is a little, um, it's a little more cool toned. I don't even think you can buy that if it's not in that set and I don't think they sell it anymore, but live. Mm, you good, you good. I love it. That is today's face. It's a little, uh, little dramatic. <laughs> but I feel a little dramatic right now. <laughs> you know, we just have those days. Also, I have no idea what's going on with my hair. I think I just slept really, really good. Um, it's a little wild today, but I'm kind of okay with that too. Like it kind of works with the makeup. <laughs> so I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you've stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps other people find my channel and you'll continue to see my content. And I will see you next time. Bye.